Right. I'm gonna discard these drinks because done that. Uh, it was uh, Keats' turn, I believe. Yes, it was. Yeah, we yes, it had a back to Keats. Right, I am going to get rid of this gambling card. You didn't want to raise last time round. Uh, I didn't want to take the risk of actually winning. <laughs> uh, also, winning hands meant that you couldn't do that. No, that's yeah. true, actually. Not unless you wanted to cheat first. Okay. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Could have used that a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah. whatever the case. So, I am going to play. Don't call me a grave robber, I say with my shovel uh, and a skull. Uh, pick another player and they lose to Fortitude. Oh, dear. Oh, we've lost Phil. Or, 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 or I crash. Right, I'm just going to flip over your oh. hand so we don't see it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you, you actually just entirely disappeared. <laughs> he has been yeah, the shadow realm. This is the padding section. <laughs> this is the padding section. You say that we can cut this out in post, right, Ein? Yeah. Yeah. Post. yeah I'll, I'll, I'll think of something else. <laughs> Technical <laughs> difficulties. Music. Your your card. Your hand is just there. Just yeah. Thank you. You can just right click, draw, 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 draw. In the meantime, who are you planning to hit with your shovel? Wait, why, why did it just flip over? Oh, it's like, oh, draw, 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 draw. And why did it flip that one? There we go. Right, uh, I am going to hit with my shovel. Uh, I'm going to choose Lizzywick. What? Why? What's the evidence you? You dodged it last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Bye. Because you didn't hit it last time. It's exactly why I'm hitting you this time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Two, was it? That's fair. Two, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's All fine. Right. And then I am going to give a drink. And Frank, my good sir, oh, you yeah. dry. Have a drink. You cannot be good for a brewmaster. Mm. Yes, you, you, you must maintain your lubrication. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I am, is vital for a good body. Yeah, and I am drinking a dark ale. Ah, such a pleasant drink. Thank you very much. And now... It's time for Evil Pookie. Yes, uh, uh, so I'm on five cards, so I draw two. Uh, Parlay. No, you did specifically say you were going to try and murder me ASAP. Did I say that? I don't recall that. Play yeah. the tape back. Play the tape back. Uh, so I'm going to go inhumanely sourced cuisine. I am going to bite uh, Liswick for one fortitude. Oh, joy. Another Liswick hit. <laughs> Uh, and by doing so, I drain that one HP and take it for myself. Oh. You're lucky well, I'm not well, drunk, well, or you get drunker. Uh, I was going to say, if Lizwig's alcohol content was 10 or greater, I would also gain alcohol from the amount of poison in her blood. Um, and you know what? I'm feeling like Keith doesn't need another drink. I'm going to give it to Oma Girl, because I want to see <laughs> explosive drunkenness. Tip the wench. Pay a gold to the end. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. This is getting uh... spiteful. <laughs> it's, oh, red red in. it's Red Dragon Inn. It's Red Dragon Inn. What are you expecting? Civilness? Wine. Drinking um, a wine, a glass of wine. Yeah, Normal wine for an evil rabbit. And that's for two alcohol. Look, evil villains always have, like, the swirling red wine. Right? Or port. Yeah. Or port. At least it's not elf wine. This is true. Lizwick. Have a uh, have a go. You know, let's give it the winning hand. Uh, let's draw up to four. Uh, hmm. Mini, mini, my. Uh, you know, uh, neutral. Yeah. Hold this for a sec and be careful. It's snappy. Lose a fortitude. Gosh. A little little nibble. Yeah. Uh, this, this slowly is, this, nibbling this is you. Me away. getting knocked out by nibble, a thousand. Nibble, nibble. A thousand nibble. mini little cuts. Yeah. It's like it's like the thousand needles from uh, Final Fantasy. Oh God! Indeed. Yeah. Uh, you know, so useful though when you when you're using it yourself though, as we found <laughs> out. That is true. Very <laughs> useful indeed. Uh, you know, what, uh, Frank. No. Tip the wench. Tip <laughs> the wench. Oh, fine. Look, you're selling potions in her bar. You might as well pay her. 
Yeah, you are uh, kind of undercutting her business here, aren't you? No, no, he's helping the business because he's giving people, he's getting people more sober so they can get more drinks. Yeah, like in if, some cases. If, 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 like, if, if I sell someone something that makes them sober, they get to buy another drink. Right. Uh, it works out. True, but then again, half the gold though, they get drunk under, so you're stealing their gold. Uh, in the meantime, drink phase. Ugh, I've got two choices. Who do I want to put a car back on? Uh, you know what? Keats. Keats can have a drink. Drink and, from Keats. And I'll be drinking once it wants to reveal itself. Uh, fine oh. Ambrosia, Nectar oh. of the Gods. To pay two to heal. And gain you one pay alcohol. Two gold and you mm. gain four health, isn't it? Four, four you health. gain four health and one alcohol content. So it's I mean, net. what could go wrong I'm, with this? Yeah, you, you've got the gold, you need the health, and That's, yeah, this is an easy one for you. Yeah. That's a super good one to have. Is anyone on. going to mess with my drink at this point? Oh, I wish uh, I bear could. in mind, you could also use the rusty nail to pay for it, because it's technically worth a gold. That is true. Get rid of That's that rusty nail. Point. There you go, I'll put it back in your parlour. Yeah, That's wrong. Thank you very much. That's annoying. <laughs> it is, it is. So, um, Actually, fellow, you, you, fellow you, patrons. You, you could keep, you could have kept that rusty nail and if you give it to someone else. I could. Yeah. yeah. And they could have taken mm. two damage. You could have, no, they would have only taken one gambling. damage. Yeah. Next time gambling came around. Uh, well, it says here, if you gain control and immediately turn it. Face yeah, it's it's basically because immediately after you gain control of this artifact or turn it face up, you lose one fortitude. And it's basically mm. saying if you both happen to you, you just lose one fortitude. Yeah. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. So that is pretty much me done. So, uh, it's real. Oh, it says draw and discard. I'm not discarding anything, mm. so I'm drawing four cards. You hardly have anything left in your hand, actually. He values his bombs. Bombs, you don't even. know all those cards are bombs. Some of them might be gain health. Is the trial? There's a high likeness of the bombs. Well, speaking yeah, of it's high bombs, likeness. speaking of bombs, they're perfectly safe. Oh, Liswick, oh, fuck, get a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, joyous occasion! What do I get? I get a big bada boom. I lose four fortitude, or I discard my hand. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, so all fortitude uh, or all his hands uh, go. How much do I value my hand? Um, uh, bastard. <laughs> this is, this bastard. An entire heart. Bast uh, well, not much well, bastard than that one. the thing that also means no protection cards now. Indeed. Yeah. And you've this just had your turn, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. This is now bada. a free game. I'm free real estate now, fuck me. Considering you just healed up all that health, I think that's... Uh, it's apt. not an open invitation. <laughs> open um, invitation for uh, human season? Um, it's it's gnome. Gnome season. I mean, you do have the most health. That's or the most, or the most distance between your... Um... <laughs> is it true? I'm that a gnome rogue, yes. So, uh, pa Pare, I'll be nice to people who will be nice to me. Well, you already declared your intent to kill me first, so, you know. Keith, the trial, please. Well, he's foul. <laughs> uh, well, Mitchell, please I, feel I, free to finish your turn. <laughs> indeed. Well, that is my action. So, I'm going to give a drink to someone. And uh, according to uh, according to the game, uh, there have been over um, over 4.8 4. million drinks served in the entire mod. Hey. It's not bad. That is not bad. Um, Keith, you're getting a drink. Why are you giving it to Keith? I was thirsty. You should have given it to Lisbeth, yeah. No, you should have given it to your Spooky. <laughs> she seems slightly distressed. She hasn't got a drink. <laughs> I mean, I, I could, but I thought it, seeing as the fact that uh, she just uh, had the big bad of boom, I thought, you know yeah, what, a drink, a, drink, <laughs> a drink would be too generous. I'd be giving her everything. Ah, yeah, that's fair. He says, that it, what should be around on the house he picks out? No, it's not. No, nope, it's dirty <laughs> dishwater. Dish I lose a health. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so, Nitch no... Nitch not going to get drunk. She's just going to die. <laughs> so, no alcohol, 15 health. <laughs> oh, dear me. Not a great... So that's my turn. Uh, I'm going to use my potion now. 
Yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> why not? And then I draw a new one, which is an acid spit potion. Ooh, damaging. And then I get to discard and okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, I have some I actually have some good action cards, or at least different action cards <laughs> anyway. Ooh. You know what? Let's be let's be kind. Actually, is it gonna be kind? Is it gonna cause me to lose more health? No, be me. No. But it's anyone's it's gonna be me. Really no, I think I actually know what it is. <laughs> Actually, does it involve us all paying you gold again? Uh, no, it doesn't all involve no, you paying gold. But no, you know what? Let's uh, it's on my lips. The base you know is killing me. Who's getting three alcohol content? Shite. Oh, you know what? Get cronked. I don't think gnomes hold the liquor very well, do they? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Fuck you, Frank. <laughs> look, look, it's not all bad because uh, it's a drinks phase now, and here's a yeah. drink for you. Uh, <laughs> just to get more crumped. <laughs> and uh, have a drink for your troubles, Lizwick. Pick another player and have a drink the top part of their drink me pile. Oh, oh no. you're a bastard, I hope. Oh, Elven wine. <laughs> oh, so that's I, another I, three I, I alcohol. Will... Don't worry, I will I will pay you back in good kind next turn. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I, I that's <laughs> that's six I'll... alcohol content that entire turn. Oh, this and drink. It's still yeah. a drink to go. And now it's my drink. Watch Yay. it be me. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> you. Oh, you, Jammy Bugger. Dodger. Water does nothing. He's he's in peace jam. He's getting all jammy now. <laughs> Oh, that was my turn. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bastard. Heat, you're up. Right then. Let's see. Uh, I want to get rid of that. And then I want to draw two. Okay. Okay. Um, I would like to play... Ooh. Let's spice things up a little. Not gambling. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, anything but that. Throw you the idol, all right. You asked for it. So, who wants an idol? Who who wants an item? It'll be the, pe- it'll be the people who was just idling around, I suspect. God damn it. I mean, be Frank or maybe evil uh, Pookie. I'm going I'm to I'm be fair. I'm going to give it to Frank. Frank, have an idol. And, uh, oh, you only your... have to give him, give him it if he takes the damage. If he negates oh, yeah. the damage, he doesn't get it. Lose three fortitude, Frank. One, two, three. And I get this artifact. Yes, mm-hmm. you do. Three, two, one. Oh. oh yeah, it's you broke. Oh, it's yeah. an action for a three fortitude loss. Oh, it's not bad, actually. Yeah. yeah. And it is I'll also keep, got I'll, ass. I'll, keep, I'll keep that on the side. Mm. Although it does cost you, technically it cost you a gold to do so. So. Well, it was he a free gold free, anyway. so. That's true. <laughs> he doesn't mind. Mm. Oof. Hey, okay. that was all right then. Oh, so that was your action. All right. Uh, actually, uh, I'm going to use this anytime card to say, uh, "Let me take a closer look at that, Frank." I'd like that scorpion back. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That. I mean, it's funny to find you. out if you've got a bad. Damn you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like, oh, I'll just keep this in my hand. Nobody has anything useful artifact wise, and then there's suddenly that comes out. It's like, oh, actually, like... no, wait, I want that for myself. <laughs> yes. Um, so that works. <laughs> that's, that's, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. <laughs> Chuck a bloody poison scorpion at your face, <laughs> and then, it's like, oh, hang on, actually, let me have that back a second. Meanwhile, so, uh, meanwhile, I give po- <laughs> Evil Pookie a drink because you're not sobering up. No, that's fair. And I am drinking, apparently. Do, 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 do. Oh, Wine with oh, a chaser. Oh, chaser. And your Wine other. Was a What's your other card? Tea. <laughs> oh. Why? So Wine a with net... a chaser of tea. So that's that, a net one. That that's doesn't one. sound pleasant. <laughs> So the wine is two alcohol content, but the pot of tea is negative one. Yeah, yeah so I'm going I'm, I'm I'm to take that. I wouldn't <laughs> I like thought, that. Oh uh... no, that's going to that's going to hurt. It's wine plus something else, and it's like 
Well, you can uh, thank me later for putting that card on your deck so you could actually um, get the tea. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated.
so I guess it's my turn to talk about uh, my month. Yes. Yeah. Mm. It is. Okay, um, so first thing I'm going to question, uh, would you like me to hold off on the Switch game I played, Random Genius, so you can talk about it as well? Uh, I have played other games, so feel free to speak about it now. Fair enough. So, probably the highlight of my month was, I think it was released at the end of last month? I can't remember. Uh, the... Yes, because yeah. I discussed uh, the Castlevania Advance Collection in preparation for this game. Yes, so, um, yeah, Nintendo had their probably biggest release of the year, unless you consider Animal Crossing slash the Nintendo Expansion Pack Plus. And uh, that is... I know some would. <laughs> some would. Some would also consider the remakes um, next week. Um, and Mario yeah, Party. Don't, don't forget think... Mario Party was released. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to um, consider the Pokemon remakes their biggest release of this year. But yes, Oof. Metroid Dread. <laughs> um, so Metroid Dread is the first proper sequel since Metroid Fusion back on the Game Boy Advance. This is going um, back a very long time. Back over 15 yeah. years. <laughs> to, to, okay, so to be fair, if you look at the sequence of events, you had the original Metroid on the NES. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second one on the Game Boy, the original Game Boy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then Super Metroid. You then have a gap until the Game Boy Advance version of Fusion. And then there's another gap until Dread. That's a um, big ass gap. Yeah, they've been yeah. getting longer. Now there have been other Metroid games, obviously. But. Yeah, so there, there have been the, uh, the Prime trilogy, soon to be uh, a, a trilogy told in four parts. Uh, you mean a quadrology? No, a trilogy told in four parts. Mm. Is, uh, I think the plan is as well it's going to be a second set of trilogies so uh, we'll see about that one um, Trilogy of trilogies Now, trilogies a, bit of background, a bit of a background I play the Metroid Prime games first they are still my favourite of the Metroid games I then played uh, I think after I played Metroid Prime 1 and 2 I played Fusion as my first 2D Metroid game I love that one um, recently replayed that as well and I still love that one um to be honest, out of the 2D Metroids, it's my second favourite, probably, with my first favourite being Zero Mission. I'm actually not a fan of Super Metroid, um, which is heresy to many people, but I, I just feel it's a little bit date. I don't like the physics. I prefer the physics of the Game Boy Advance games. So to Dread. Dread had a lot of hype and build-up around it. I, I don't want to spoil too much because I know the Random Genius hasn't finished it yet. I know he's played it. Mm-hmm. Um, so my summary for it is this, as far as a Metroid game goes, I like it better than Super Metroid, but not better than the Game Boy Advance games. Um, if you want to know whatever M falls in that, other M's below Super Metroid. <laughs> I have not played Federation Force, so. Um, what is Federation Force? Such a game does not exist. I had to, yes, people like what the plot of it was. Or people like to think so. Mm. I am, of course, being, I am, of course, joking. I've not played Federation Force. It's one that just hung around and I just never got around to playing. Yeah, so same. Just... So, starting off with the good points of Dread, the controls are lovely. Um, and there's a few people who are like, well, it's not the proper classic Metroid controls. I really don't care. They are really nice. The fact that you can aim 360 degrees is fantastic. The slide function is cool. I see why they've introduced it. Um, Partially because uh, one of the standards of Metroid is one of the power-ups you get quite late on, <laughs> comparatively to when you normally get it, that you basically have the slide to replace. Yeah, that 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 caught me for a loop when I was going through. Okay, so okay, going through here. Okay, so we start off with these items. Now, ah, fair enough. Let's go through. I know what this is. No, what? Okay, now I know what this is. It's a uh, wait, what? Where yeah. the heck is this item? The item that you get at the, the first item in every Metroid game. That's not true. It's not the first item in Fusion. It's the second the, item in Fusion. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Not early yeah. game one. Fusion, I mean, I get missiles I first, and, which yeah, fine, fine. Um, this I mean, game you start with some I mean, missiles. You start so. with missiles, so therefore that's the gap there. Well, yeah. So I don't really consider the missiles one you get. It's no, just your starting point. Um. And the t actually, the first two powers you get, I think, are both new ones, kind of. There's the climby one and the invisible one. Uh, I assume you've got both of those. Yeah, yeah. Um, for, for reference's sake, I'm up to the second major boss. I don't remember which boss is which. So that's <laughs> um, to, to say so would be a spoiler, unless you've seen the trailers. 
Oh, it's the one in the trailer then. Yes. Okay, yeah, no, I know which one it is. Uh, which is, it, that one's an interesting one because there is a secret way to kill him, but you have to sequence break to do it, um, which you're now too late to do. With I the mean, the ring. I mean, to be fair, he has that feature in other Metroid games. That's true, actually. Um, so yeah, control wise, great. Power up wise, you get there's you get most of your standard affair. I know some people have complained about the order you get some of the beams in. Interestingly. It's exactly the same order you get them in Fusion. Um, and people didn't like it either. So, an odd one. The ones that I'm a bit iffy about are, there's one new one that feels like it's just a bit of a waste because it's just an inferior version of another power-up. Um, again, tell me if you're happy with me spoiling Random <laughs> Genius, uh, if you'd rather not. It, it's basically, you get like a not as good version, and then get the final upgrade, which is much better, if that makes sense. Uh, yes, those kind of things, yes. Yeah. Um, but my big gripes with it, the first big gripe I have with it is the difficulty of this game is equivalent to the hard mode of any other Super Metroid game. It's fairly brutal, to be honest. And the final boss, especially, is just cruel. Um, now, there's two major reasons for this. The first one is, standard in Metroid is you've got energy tanks and missile upgrades. Missile upgrades only give you two missiles extra, which means you have a fairly limited amount of missiles. There are a couple of bigger missile packs that give you 10, but generally you're increasing your missile packs little by little. The bigger one is that while there are some energy tanks, there's a few full energy tanks, most energy tanks have now been split into four. And it feels like that they've just basically taken full E-tanks and just gone, nah, nah, cut it to a quarter one. You don't get that energy until you get all four as well. But it means this this is the Metroid with the lowest health bar in it. It's kind but of like the pieces of heart mechanic in uh, Zelda games, basically. Yeah. But the problem is it feels like they've not balanced the enemies to go with that balancing of cutting them in four. The enemies still feel like you're, they were designed for you to have a full E-tank every time you picked one up. I have noticed that some of the enemies do hit a lot harder than normal, particularly in the second area. I was and losing a, I was losing a full energy tank. And uh, that keeps escalating. While you do get um, the various suit and gravity suit do reduce the damage you take, the problem is the enemies are scaling up so fast that you get it and you're going, oh my god, I can survive three or four hits now, not one or two. It, it feels far too brutal for what it is. You almost, and to be honest, the final boss you have to have gotten at least eighty percent of the items if you're going to have any chance of beating him because he is brutal. Um, my other bigger complaint, which some people say I'm a bit overreacting on, but I feel like the counter is used far too often um, to reliably do damage. It gets a little better very late in the game when you get your big attacky stuff like screw attack and the normal stuff, but even then. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of the ability to do mage damage to bosses relies on you being able to successfully counter stuff. A lot of just beating standard enemies before you get big guns, you have to counter them because otherwise you just don't have enough time. It just feels overused, basically. Yeah, I, I can see that. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't uh, as uh, annoyed by or sort of as um, I think the counter was overused, but I did notice the fact that it was kind of overpowered for what it is. It's kind of like the case yeah. of, yeah, you, you have to use it. It's not just an optional thing like no. uh, bomb jumps or wall jumps. Um, it's basically, yeah, this, this has to be a part of your standard arsenal. In this case, of, it took a, a while for me to get into that mindset. Now, I know that this was a feature that they added to the Metro 2 remake, which I haven't played the remake one, and it seems to be the signature for Mercury Studios versions yeah. of it. Okay. Uh, it is in uh, Samus Returns, and I had the same problem there as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, interestingly, I see people commented on that one that it that uh, more that they was overused in that one than it is in this one. Mm. So I have to say, if what you're saying is true in terms of the final boss, that scales with uh, with Samus Returns for the 3DS because oh boy, that final boss fight that was a rough one. I mean, is that the bonus one that wasn't in the original? That was the bonus one that wasn't in the original one, yes. Yeah. I mm, Yeah. Interesting thing. Um, 
that does appear in Metro Dread, which I can't talk about because that is a spoiler. Yes. Um, the one, one of the other things I will say, though, is there are two intended sequence breaks, and you know they're intended because one of them you have uh, is a way to beat a boss secretly, which um, I kind of figured out going back to that area post-game, like after I'd beaten the boss and figuring, ha, huh, there's a thing here. Um, and then on a later playthrough, looking up on my hard mode playthrough, I looked up how to sequence break to get that item to beat the boss that secret way. Mm. The other sequence break is one that is interesting and sets you down a path which actually makes the game much more difficult for a while because you gain a lot of late game items before you've gained the more basic stuff. Um, like, I think you gain, yeah, you gain something, you gain like the gravity suit before you've gained some of the more important missile upgrades, like the proper upgrades, the missiles. Mm. So they're interesting, but they're very obviously dev intended. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested to see if, if people try and properly sequence break, which a couple of people have, but it looks like those either crash the game or basically make an error where you then get trapped and can't leave. So it's interesting. It, I definitely enjoyed the game, and I think it's definitely going to hit my top five games of the year. But I don't feel like it's the strongest of the of a Metroid games. I definitely enjoyed it. I quite like the way they've integrated some of the previous lore into it, um, especially with like the whole X and the fact that the game in this in this canon there are technically no Metroids because Samus has wiped them out. So. Are we going to find a secret base where they've captured Metroids again? Which seems to be the regular occurrence. You have to play and find out. I'm not going to spoil anything yeah, on that one. No. Um, well, given some of the lore in Fusion, I'm kind of interested. Yeah, which is why I don't want to spoil anything. And to be honest, I have not said anything that um, will spoil anything yet. Uh, because no. I'm not telling you whether there are yeah, secret Metroids true. or not. True. Um I will say there is an interesting twist near the end. Actually, I will say the other thing that bugged me was the Emmy. I was they gonna are just not fun. I was going to say that the as from what I've played so far, the biggest the the biggest end the biggest draw of the game so far, the thing that I really like is the Emmys, the the the, the sort of the chase sequence and such. I I do like that kind of sort of adrenaline rush of running through and such. But at the same time, it's the weakest part of the game. Yeah. Because and, obviously, uh, every game, uh, in my opinion, every game since Fusion has tried to do the SAX, and it hasn't quite hit. And there hasn't been that sense of overwhelming uneasiness that's uh, around the corner you could see the SAX. Uh, the Emmys are in designated zones. You know when you're going into an Emmy zone. And that kind of loses some of the atmosphere for me. It's a case of, oh, I, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, this is the Emmy zone. Right, time to back away. Da, 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 da. Uh, whereas with Fusion, I had no idea what was happening with the SAX. Yeah. And when it got to some of the those chase sequences, that was mm. that that was much better, much more well done than the Emmy ones. So I still the, enjoyed them, but it's yeah, uh, it doesn't feel right to me. The, the the big problems come with the Emmy stuff is later in the game because they rack up the difficulty of the Emmys later. And while they rack, and basically that's just they can detect you from a further distance. Mm -hmm. They have better abilities that mean they can hunt you down easier. Yada yada yada. Um, but you still kill every single one in exactly the same way. Um, there is no variation. The way you kill the second one because the first one is slightly different as an intro. Mm -hmm. um, the way you kill the second one is the way you kill every single one, pretty much. And it's like, mm, you know, could have been a bit more inventive. Yeah, feel true. Um, so the Emmy for me are actually the weakest part, which is again a shame because they even went to the uh, difficulty of making an amiibo of the Emmy. Though oddly, they made the amiibo of the broken Emmy in the first one, which I'm like, no, I want the like cool looking ones, please, with the shields. But uh, yeah, Metro Dread is definitely a great game. I mean, I've played for it twice, so. You know, I must have enjoyed it. I've 100 percented it on normal difficulty. I've 100 percented it on hard difficulty. I've not done the time versions yet because I have no idea how you meant to do those. Um, and it is very good, but it's certainly not on top of my favourite ones. Um, but if you can give it a shot, 
give the demo a shot if you like the demo. You know, you might as well go for it because it's not going down in price anytime. So, uh, so yeah. Um, other than that, I've been continuing on Ace Attorney Chronicles, but I'm going to wait till I actually finish the first game before I give my opinion on that. Um, and I'm on the last case of the first game, so. Uh, and other than that, it's a lot of Final Fantasy XIV because um, the expansion was meant to come out next week. It's now set for December, so you're going to hear about that next year, <laughs> probably. Uh, yeah, that, I'm going to leave it at that because I think I've waffled on for far too long. Well, I don't show up, don't criticize I'm just living by my own feelings And I won't give in, won't compromise Cause I only have a steadfast heart of gold I don't know why I can't leave go with my pizza But I ain't out of control, just living by my word Don't ask me why, I don't need a reason I got my way my own way it doesn't matter now what happens i will never give up the fight long as the voice inside drives me to run and fight it doesn't matter who is wrong and who is right Well, I don't look back, I don't need to Time won't wait and I've got so much to do Where do I stop now? It's all blur, it's so unclear Well, I don't know, but I can't be wrong It doesn't matter now what happens I will never give up the fight Long as the voice inside tells me keep running fast Place all your bets on the one you think is right Oh, it doesn't matter now what happens I will never Give up the fight Long as the voice inside Tells me keep running fine It doesn't matter Who is wrong and who is right